Welcome to Let's Play Taurus Trophy Part 27. So let's get to the final street bike race series. So, yay. And I'm um, sorting this down by displacement because we got some uh, going against the big bikes this time. Oh, sh I'm going to use my uh, Firebolt for this first race. Seems like this served as a test for some GT5 fe features, like, yeah. With the number plates and the uh, rider customization, that makes sense. And the cockpit, onboard shit. That makes sense. So anyway, Street Machine Cup Stage 4. Completely unlimited, but it's recommended you have an over 1,000cc bike. That's what the uh, little picture shows anyways. So here we go, Street Machine Cup Stage 4, starting at Apricot Hill. I think this is our first time being at Apricot Hill in this game as well. So here we go, going against the BMW 1200R, I think, not the S. And uh, three laps to Apricot Hill. Ooh, big slide, big fucking slide, okay. Kept it under control though. Somehow. Apricot Hill is cool. This is one of those circuits where I wouldn't mind seeing like a real life replica. That in Grand Valley. Alright, catching this fucking beamer. Oh, oh, okay. Wasn't prepared to go for the pass there, but I guess, uh, he wanted me to. Nice and smooth through the chicane. Let's go on board. Face lights up with joy when you see me streaming. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm your source of joy. lap is not going well at all, especially after that. And there he goes. Don't even need the bridge and tunnels. I'm talking about just straight up track layout and hopefully elevation. I couldn't care less if there weren't tunnels and or the bridge in like a real life Grand Valley. Okay. So let's see, how far behind am I? 2.2 seconds. Then suddenly I'm a lot less than that. Alright, 
right behind him. Come on, grip. Make a pass here into the hairpin, maybe. Well, I'm straight away towards the hairpin, heading towards the hairpin. Oh, fuck. But late brakes. I always miss breaking points in these bikes, in this game. Not sure how I'm still ahead. I'm honestly not. Come on, bring it down so I can set up the chicane. Make it, there we go. I should probably upshift. That'd be a good idea. And win. Alright. By mm, just under half a second. Pretty good. Not bad. So, um... Yari. Oh boy, more riding gear. Because you can be good sometimes. I'm never good. You know that. Another helmet, Yari. Some keywords sometimes? Yeah, exactly. Oh, hey, another uh, F4 in the Augusta. This time it's red and white. Ooh. So here we go. Going against a CB1300 Super 4. And off we go. Oh, hit the rev limiter. Oops. Yeah, 1.7 liters, like a legit car almost. Quickly catching this Honda. Oh, hello. No, it's cool, don't give me any room. Fucker. Love tab. These onboard views are really fucking cool. 1.7 liters more than my car. Oops. I'm already uh, kind of dominating this one. It's not too far behind me. And one crash is all that'll take to uh, make things interesting again. This is so tight! Fucking dragging that shit. Look at those sparks. Well, there aren't any now, but you know. When I was approaching the final turn, those were some fucking sparks. 8,000 red line, cause with an engine this massive, you don't need revs. <laughs> oh.
already four seconds ahead. You know, smaller than gaps in previous races, but you know. Like that, you know, 20 plus second victory at a uh, trial mountain, but yeah. So I'm not pulling up too far away. So the shot at losing this race, I just gotta not crash here in the final turn. And I did not crash in the final turn. And there we go. Race two down. And margin of victory 4.475. Not bad. Not bad. So, for this, I get a Yamaha RZ250. Okay. Wasn't expecting such a small bike, but hey, it's another bike. All right, here we go. Going against a Fireball, too. Going against the Buell. The Buell. Yeah, this thing has an 8,000 red line as well. With this kind of power, you don't need revs, huh? Keck. Whoa, wheel spin. Hello. Mr. Buell. terrible but I'll accelerating them yay except at the end there this thing doesn't even have a speedometer what the fuck Unless it's that little gauge underneath. Almost fell off there. Or had a chance to. No, yeah, okay, we're good. I thought I was going to go flying off the track there, but nope. Nice and smooth. On to the final lap. Oops. Should probably stop going down the first gear. Don't really need it. Five second advantage. All right. Oh boy. Had an almost five second advantage, and then I almost threw it away. That wouldn't have been nice. But there we go. Win. Yay. 3.8 margin of victory, not bad. So there we go, that's the last of the uh, street bike races. Alright, prize bike for our final street event. Moriwaki. 
CBR600RR. Oh! Nice. This little, little custom street bike there. There we go, gold trophies. Actually, let's take a look at that. I'm really taking a close look at any of the other bikes I've won, but let's take a look at that thing. Damn it. No. Manufacturer. Moriwaki. Damn. This looks like it should be a race bike, but nope, it's street. Hmm. Alright, well. That's all the street bikes of er street races complete, so I guess we shall move on to the race bike races next. And we shall do that in the next segment. Stay tuned. <laughs>